Hey guys, welcome to another video here at Cloud Kalu Bridge. Just relaxing here in the South Florida sun, watering my plants. It smells real nice out here. That particular jasmine plant gives off an amazing scent. And now I'm just relaxed, just ready to drink my coffee. I got it brewing right now. So I'm gonna go grab it and we'll continue this video. I'll be right back. So this is the time of year. The females are getting ready to lay eggs. Some of you already have eggs, but I want to show you a nice way to make egg laying boxes the cost effective way. So when your female's ready to lay, you have a nice, quiet, moist place for her to lay her eggs. And I'm going to show you how to do it cost effectively. Now look at these beautiful females. They're about to have their pre-lay sheds looking swole and ready to lay eggs soon. So grab a coffee, relax, and enjoy the video. So the coffee's ready, that sun's really coming in strong but that's not gonna stop me from coming out here and enjoying a delicious cup of coffee with you guys, freshly ground. Oh, the odor, the aroma is so, so nice right now. Now I wanna make a toast to all of you beautiful people watching the video and all these amazing snakes. Here's for you guys. Ah. You take a look at this beautiful female. Just a beautiful female, whoa, beautiful female California king snake. Now this is a special, special one, not the normal markings you're used to. And I wanna show you something that they call palpating. Now all I'm gonna do is feel for eggs. You could feel for the eggs in your female snake before she lays them. Just grab, not tight, not loose, just enough where as she glides through your fingertips, you could feel for the eggs. You'll feel those little eggs as she goes through your fingers. Now there's a reason why I'm not using a real snake. I'm definitely not an expert at this. So I got more practice to do. And as I become good at it and actually feel for eggs, I'll show you with a real snake. Now I'm gonna do something that I am an expert making those a -la egg lay boxes. I'll be right back. So if this is your first time breeding, you're probably wondering why you even have to put one of these in the enclosure. Just let her lay the eggs, pull them out. Everything will be okay. Well, the thing is, these females want somewhere nice, secluded, with a little bit of moisture, where they feel comfortable laying the eggs. If you don't provide one of these, there's a good chance they're gonna go for the next best thing, which might be the water bowl. If she lays the eggs in the water bowl, they're gonna all die. So by providing this, you increase the chances of her laying those beautiful eggs in here. Then you could just remove it, open it up, take the eggs out, and you're good. All right, so to start, you just need one of these plastic rubber made to go things that you know you when you have food you want to bring it to work i don't know exactly what they call them but that's what it is these tupperwares that's right tupperware now just find one that's the appropriate size for your enclosure that'll fit in comfortably that she could get into just like that all i did take a razor blade follow along the edges pull it out just leave enough space for the snake to get in and out comfortably. Now you could put it on the side, but as she comes in and out, all that substrate is gonna escape into the tank. It'll work fine. If you don't have enough clearance, it'll work fine. It's just gonna be a little bit more messy with the hole on top. She goes in and out, it's nice and clean. So all you really need is three simple ingredients to make these egg lay boxes. You need your Tupperware. You can get these at Walmart, Target, the grocery store. They usually come in like a pack of three. Get them real cheap. I like to use some spring water to moisten the substrate. You could use tap water. Shouldn't be a problem, but I like to use the best for my snakes. And last but not least, I got this nice 
premium moss, you could use other types of substrate as long as you keep it moist and not wet. But I like to use this moss. It's easy to keep hydrated. Now you could buy this at the pet store for $20, that fancy New Zealand style moss. But this is premium moss. No fertilizers, make sure no fertilizers. Get this at Home Depot. I believe it was around five bucks. So this definitely gets the job done just as good when you're using it for these egg laying boxes. So now I'm gonna open this up, show you exactly how I set it up. And we're gonna put those egg boxes in the bins. So all I did was take a nice handful of this moss, added that water. So what you want is to be able to lift the moss. It's nice and damp, but it's not dripping. There's no drips coming from this at all. Even if you give it a little squeeze, no drips. It's just damp. That's what you're looking for. Check up on it about every three days. If you notice it's starting to get just a little dry on the top, you could mist if you have a little spray gun, spray a little water on there, or just add a little bit more water, mix it in there. So that's it. Leave enough space so the snake could comfortably fit on top, cover it up, and now we're gonna put them in the enclosures. So Zena's looking amazing, and now I'm gonna put her lay box in. I put it usually in the back corner, and if you look, you could see the clearance. She could, she could easily get into that hole, come in and out comfortably. If this was a taller lay box and it was almost to the top, she wouldn't have clearance to get in. So then you could put the hole on the side, but this bin is high enough where she can comfortably get in and out so just put it back there and you'll see them hang out in there often, especially when they're about to lay. Just make sure that that moss is nice and damp and you're good to go. Now that's Paprika's egg laying box. I just finished cleaning some poop over here. So I got a Finish cleaning, put some new paper towel down. At this point, you could definitely put your aspen bedding back down if you like, but I just ordered a nice bundle of aspen. So right now I ran out, so I'm using the paper towel, which is fine. So I just put pumpkin's lay box in. She's looking really, really beautiful. She should be shedding out soon. And uh, she'll be in that lay box really, really soon. And you can clearly see as big as she is, she still has clearance on top. So she can get right in that egg box with no problem. So now there's Pearl. And as she glides along my fingers, I could just feel for eggs. I told you guys I'm not an expert at this, but I actually could feel some slight little lumps in her. So those are probably those nice, beautiful eggs. And you could see she's already starting to explore that lay box. Now this is Gretel's lay box, the Het Palmetto. And this girl is deep, deep in shed. So usually when they're in shed, they'll go in these moist hides, lay boxes, and it helps them shed. So I'm sure she's gonna hang out in there and loosen up that skin. And these have an exceptional bloodline. The ability to produce, whoa, the ability to produce some amazing looking babies. Now I'll let her relax. Boom, these guys are like hungry, hungry little hippos. Domino has this amazing Dalmatian looking pattern. And uh, if these both prove out to be head albino, we're gonna have some amazing babies between him and Beetlejuice. Boom. Just a beautiful girl, and she'll be ready in about a year or two to breed. Boom! 
All right, guys, so that went real smooth. Now, I made those bins two years ago. All I do, I make them. When the breeding season's done, they already laid the eggs. I take out the lay boxes, throw out the moss, wash them real good and throw them in the closet. Next year, they're already ready to go. All I gotta do is buy some moss, throw it in there, moisten it up, and that's it. Now, some snakes, you might wanna leave the moist hide in year round, like my Tarahumara Mountain Kings. They really love it, so I leave it in there for them. It helps keep their skin from drying out. And then during breeding season, when she has those nice eggs in there, she just goes in there and lays them. It works out perfectly. So I hope you guys learned something for the newbies, that is. Now I'm hungry. I'm gonna go eat dinner. I got some other things that I gotta do. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll catch you in the next one.